And we thought that if AI happened, if, if AI fulfilled the dream, then it was going to be the most powerful tool that humans had yet created. Sam Altman, the visionary behind OpenAI, has unveiled a groundbreaking new technology that could forever alter our interaction with the digital world, an eye-scanning orb capable of reading our thoughts and intentions. This mind-bending device, still in development, promises to transform everything from computing to communication. But how exactly will it work? And what implications does it have for our privacy and future? Let's find out. Sam Altman's New Eye Scanning Orb The Tools for Humanity Foundation project, called WorldCoin, has recently been renamed World. This project aims to create a future where people's identities can be verified using a unique method called orb verification. The main component of this verification process is a special metallic globe, or orb, which is a physical device that people will use to confirm their identity. WorldCoin began in 2019 when Sam Altman, the co-founder of OpenAI, started to explore new ways to verify people's identities. He wanted to find a solution that could help with universal basic income programs, which are ideas that suggest everyone should receive a regular income from the government to help cover their living expenses. To bring this idea to life, Altman partnered with Alex Blania, a technologist who helped turn this concept into reality. In today's world, where artificial intelligence is rapidly advancing, Altman and Blania realized it would be crucial to prove to people that they are real humans and not bots or fake accounts. To achieve this, they developed a system that uses iris scanning technology. This means that individuals would scan their eyes, which contain unique patterns that are different for everyone. The technology would then generate private tokens, which are like digital keys, that verify a person's identity. This would allow people to prove who they are anywhere in the world. WorldCoin represents a significant effort to address the challenges posed by technology. With the rise of AI, there is a growing concern about identity theft and fraud, as bots can easily imitate human behavior online. By using iris scanning technology, WorldCoin aims to create a more secure way for humans to confirm their humanity, helping to prevent fraud and ensuring that people can access services and benefits without being misrepresented. This project is also seen as an example of tech solutionism, which is the belief that technology can solve many of society's problems. Altman is working on building a world where AI plays a central role, and at the same time, he is developing a system that can help regulate and verify human identities in this AI-driven environment. By creating a method for verifying identity, WorldCoin seeks to make it easier for individuals to engage with digital services, receive support from programs like Universal Basic Income, and participate fully in a future where technology is everywhere. How it works This orb runs on a powerful technology called NVIDIA's Jetson chip. According to the company, this technology provides almost five times the performance needed for artificial intelligence, which means it can process and verify identities much faster. However, the idea of using an orb to scan people's eyes is still quite unusual and might seem a bit strange. Starting next year, in Latin America, people will be able to order an orb directly into their homes. This will happen through a partnership with a popular app called Rappi, which delivers various products and services. When someone orders an orb, it'll come to their door so that their irises can be scanned. After the scanning is done, the orb will leave just like a delivery. The orb is essentially a device made up of sensors and small computer parts that work together to capture the unique patterns in a person's iris, which is the colored part of the eye. These unique patterns are what make each person's iris different and can be used to identify them. Once the orb scans someone's iris, the biometric data, which is the unique information collected from the eye scan, is sent to an app. This brings up important questions about data privacy and how the information is stored. Many people worry about what happens to their personal data and whether it is safe from being misused or stolen. To address these concerns, Alex Blania, one of the project's leaders, has explained that when a person creates a world ID and has their iris scanned, the information is encrypted. This means that the data is scrambled and protected so that it cannot be easily read or accessed by others. Blania also assures that the data is only stored on local devices, meaning it stays on the user's own phone or device and is not sent to a central server. This is intended to keep people's information secure and give them more control over their personal data. Project Challenges The WorldCoin project has faced several challenges since it started. About two and a half years ago, there were serious concerns about how the project was recruiting people to scan their irises. Some critics accuse the project of using deceptive and exploitative practices. 
This means that some people felt they were being tricked or taken advantage of when they were asked to participate in the iris scanning process. At the time, Alex Blania explained that these issues were partly due to the fact that WorldCoin was still in its startup phase. This means they were still trying to figure things out and establish how to run the project properly. Fast forward to 2023 and the situation didn't improve much. Governments in several countries, including Germany, Brazil, India, South Korea, and Kenya, started investigating WorldCoin. They were concerned about how the project was storing and using people's biometric data, which is the unique information obtained from iris scans. These governments were worried that the project might not be handling this sensitive information in a safe and responsible way. As a result of these investigations, there were significant repercussions for WorldCoin. In Kenya, for example, the government decided to suspend all enrollment in the WorldCoin program. This means that people in Kenya were no longer allowed to sign up for the service or have their irises scanned. Similarly, in South Korea, the government took action by firing the company for its practices. In addition to these actions, WorldCoin also decided to suspend its own services in other countries, including India, Brazil, and France. This meant that people in those countries could not participate in the WorldCoin project anymore either. The suspicions were likely a way for the company to take a step back and address the concerns that were being raised by governments and the public. Despite these setbacks, Alex Blania remains hopeful about the future of the project. He stated that he believes WorldCoin will relaunch in Kenya sometime soon. This suggests that the team is working on resolving the issues that caused the initial problems and is planning to offer their services again in the near future. New Developments There have been some new and interesting developments in the WorldCoin project and its artificial intelligence software services. Sam Altman and Alex Blania, the leaders of the project, have announced that they have expanded the capabilities of their World ID service. This service is designed to help people verify their ideas using biometric information like iris scans. Previously, there were about 7 million people who had become orb verified, which means they used the special orb device to scan their irises and create a unique identity. However, with the new developments, the World ID service can now support several hundred million credentials. This is a big increase and means that many more people can use the service to verify their identities. One of the most exciting new features they're launching is called DeepFace. The name is a clever play on the term DeepFake, which refers to technology that can create realistic-looking fake videos or images. DeepFace is designed to help prevent identity fraud, especially in online communication. Here's how it works. If you're using video communication apps like FaceTime, WhatsApp, or Zoom, and someone shows up on a video call claiming to be you, the DeepFace feature will be able to tell if it's really you or not. If you've been verified through the World ID service, the app will flag the person on the call as a fake, alerting you that it's not the real you appearing on screen. This can help protect people from identity theft and fraud during video calls. WorldCoin recently made an important announcement about its new blockchain network. They claim that this is the world's first blockchain designed for humans, and it is now live and operational. This means that the millions of people who hold a World ID and use the World app will be switched over to this new blockchain network. This transition is a big step forward for WorldCoin, as it works to grow and improve its services. Although the Orb, which is a device that scans people's irises, and the World Network were originally connected to cryptocurrency, the company leaders, Sam Altman and Alex Blania, focus more on how this new blockchain service can help manage digital assets and improve virtual communication. They believe that in the future, WorldCoin can become the largest finance network in the world, helping many people manage their financial activities and identities more easily. As for the World app, it's currently free for everyone to use. This means anyone can download the app and access its features without having to pay. Scanning your iris with the Orb device is also free. This is an attractive offer for people who want to join the World Network and take advantage of its benefits. To expand access to the Orb scanning service, WorldCoin is opening two new scanning locations outside of the United States, specifically in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and Mexico City, Mexico. These new locations allow more people to get their irises scanned and join the World Network. In the United States, there are currently four locations where people can find the nearest Orb device for scanning. Overall, there are a total of 333 Orb sites around the world. This wide reach is intended to make it easier for everyone to access WorldCoin services and become part of this new system for identity verification and financial management. WorldCoin is making significant strides in its mission to create a human-centered blockchain network. 
With the launch of its new blockchain, the introduction of free services, and the expansion of its scanning locations, the company aims to help millions of people connect and manage their identities and finances more efficiently. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.